what's up guys back at you again with another helpful video for your viewing pleasure that's right pleasure <clears throat> that felt good but anyway in today's video I'll be showing you how to add a center bar to your iMovie video as well as showing you how to blur out your face or anyone's face using YouTube so I already have a video laid out for us here so this is what we will be centering out so let's go ahead and take a look at this video I don't want my face to be seen because I'm confessing that I personally enjoy foot massages all right so I know I'm not the only one in the world that enjoys foot massages so this is what the video is going to look like once we add the center bar in the blurred face all right pretty smooth right so before we get started with anything else let's swing over to a website that I personally like to use on a regular basis for these type of things uh, canva is a website that is pretty much free it uh, allows you to create YouTube thumbnails outros intros uh, it gives you a variety of elements backgrounds and different shapes and sizes uh, for you to make thumbnails and pretty much whatever else you can think of the website is free but there are certain restrictions that may require you to pay a monthly fee to use so what we're going to be doing today is clicking on create a design uh, in other words we're going to be using this design to uh, create the sensor bar which will go over our eyes so the dimensions that we're going to do for this is 100 by 40 and then you're going to click create so what this is going to give us is just a plain all white background so what we're going to do next is change it to black then you're going to click download once you click that you want to just make sure it's a PNG the important piece about that is that if you are trying to do a picture-in-picture -picture effect the image needs to be a PNG or transparent image so we're not going to do the transparent because obviously you have to pay the fee for that so we're just going to keep it a PNG uh, and then we are going to go ahead and click download to get this party started so once that downloads it's going to download to your most recent download folder and or you can either save it to your desktop once you've done that then you want to swing back over to iMovie and pull that up and download it into your movie library I already downloaded it so we are going to go ahead and pull that baby into the video and you want to go ahead and size it up so it touches all of the different sections that we have chopped up here um, so then we're going to go ahead and select the overlay style it's going to be picture in picture we're going to change the dissolve to zero so it just instantly pops into the video as soon as the video starts and not dissolving into the video so another thing you want to pay attention to is the sizing of the center bar it gives you the option to kind of manipulate that uh, so you can get it to fit the person's face or you can get it pretty wide pretty much whatever you you feel comfortable with so we're gonna go with that and then we're going to hit the keyframe that is going to allow us to manipulate the the sensor bar so it remains over our face I'm gonna turn the volume down here so it's not playing in the background so once you hit that keyframe then you can pretty much use your right arrow and just click that on the keyboard the right arrow it's going to move it over a few keyframes which will allow us to manipulate it and continue to manipulate that let's see and we're just going to keep doing that process over and over so just move it a few keyframes and then replace that bad boy so and you can do this you obviously want to do this until the video is completely over or whatever scene or clip that you're editing you just want to kind of play with it until you're you're comfortable with it and just making sure that it stays over uh, the individual's eyes or face or however you however big you actually want the sensor bar to be so um, let's continue playing with that and then get that bad boy right there okay all right 
move it a more a little bit right there and let's just take a look at it really quick yep not bad so you want to just obviously do that until the end of your video or the end of your clip to make sure it is being tracked and staying on the subject's face so now what we're going to do is we're going to swing over to youtube because i want to show you how to actually blur out your face uh let's say you don't want to use the sensor bar you actually want the full face blurred out and the reason that i don't use the canva taking basically taking a screenshot of my face and then placing it back into iMovie like some folks do, do it uh, it just doesn't seem legit you can't see my mouth moving in the background behind the blur so that's why I'm using this so what you want to do is go to your studio click on videos click on edit a specific video this video here is just for this video as a tutorial um, then you want to go down and click on blur at the bottom of your editor screen and then that's going to give you the ability to make a blurred face so it's going to give you two options here the first option is going to allow you to blur all of the faces in the video so if you if this is a clip that you want everyone's face in the video to be blurred that's what you would use but in this case we're going to use custom blurring so this is going to allow us to select a specific individual on the screen so let's say we have five people but one person face needs to be blurred that gives us the ability to do that so what we're going to do here is once it pops up we are just waiting for it to load or I believe we can go ahead and uh, make the selection while it's loading so just click on the screen then it, a box is going to show up and you're going to move it right over the subject's face it gives you the option to manipulate it so it gives you the ability to make the screen as the blur screen as large as possible so then that's pretty much it it's actually been applied it's reconfiguring and sometimes it can take a few seconds or it can be pretty instantaneous so if we're looking at the options here it gives you a return revert to original save new video and just save so saving pretty much just saves your video as is so if you already had it uploaded to YouTube received views and likes and comments then that is just going to blur that face obviously reverting it back to original will bring it back to the original state and then save as a new video um, pretty much that's going to upload a new video uh, you're going to lose all your likes and comments and everything else so you just want to make sure if you're editing a video or adding a blur to a video that's already uploaded you just want to make sure uh, you just click it to save and that is it guys uh, pretty quick pretty simple video um, definitely if you are having any troubles with this process don't hesitate to leave a comment below I'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible and if this video was helpful make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and hit that like button and if you're new to the channel please make sure you pimp up that subscribe button so you can definitely be uh, notified for my future uploads and we'll see you next time I'm out Bye. 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 Bye.